Living in New York City is everything you could ever dream of, but getting around it can be a nightmare. The subway smells like rotten eggs and riding in a taxi every day will drive you broke. But after closely examining the most liable options, I'm going to give y'all the full breakdown. Whether you live here or just visiting, I'm gonna show you guys in today's video the pros and cons of the different options that I highly recommend. And I know about 50% of you are not subscribed to the channel, so if you do wanna see more of these New York and travel videos, make sure to hit the notification bell and be notified whenever I post a video. All right, let's get into it. There are dozens of ways to get around the city. Some great, none perfect. The bus is a good option to get across town and is affordable, but I've never heard of anyone saying they've had fun riding the bus to their date. Bike is great and efficient, but the odds of it getting stolen are higher than Snoop Dogg on 420. <laughs> The ferry system in the city is very underrated, and if you are visiting or live here, this is a very quick and fun way to get between boroughs. But what I wanna emphasize in this video is EVs. Within the past couple of years, electric vehicles have taken over the city. And there's a reason why, multiple reasons. They're convenient, efficient, and fun as fuck. So today, we're gonna break down to see which one is perfect for you all while using the highly sophisticated pizza pie chart. So let's start it off with e-city bike. If you guys have been a part of the channel for a while, you know that I absolutely love city bike. I think it's just a fun way to get around the city, it's cost effective, and you also are not liable if it gets stolen or broken. And as of lately, they have been rolling out more and more of the electric versions of them, yeah, which make it so much more fun and so much faster. So I see on the app right now, there are six electric city bikes here. They go for $3.50 to unlock it, and then it's 18 cents per minute. Not a bad deal. This is what I'm talking about, liability. If this were a bike that I owned, I would have to go to a bike shop right now, because what are the odds of this? This does not happen frequently. But check out this tire. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it has like a huge tumor. <laughs> Now these electric city bikes are not fully electric, meaning there's no throttle and you just automatically go. It is just pedal assist, meaning you just get a little extra boost every time you pedal, which in reality isn't a bad thing because at least then you're not being a lazy couch potato and still getting some exercise in. Overall, it's a very convenient way to get around town, despite if you pop the tire. I think we just popped our tire. <laughs> I cannot believe we just got that on camera, guys. Unfortunately, if you do have the city bike membership, you still have to pay an additional fee every time you rent an electric bike. I'd say if you are just visiting the city, this is a really fun way to get around. But if you live here, I think we definitely have some much better options. So for price, I'm gonna give it a seven. Then we'll go with an eight for convenience. The city bikes are pretty damn durable and safe. We'll give this a nine. And a six for fun, since they are pretty fun, but it's nearly impossible to look cool on a city bike. Revel is a must try if you're in the city. They do top out at like 27 miles per hour, but cruising around on one of these things on the cobblestone streets of Soho will make you feel like you're cruising through Italy. Now I'm gonna show you guys the process with getting a Revel scooter. So first things first, let's open up the app. And as you'll see, there are none that are close to us since you can only rent them or park them within these blue areas. So the closest Revel scooter to us right now is still a nine minute walk away. And one of the good things though, you can reserve it. So I'm gonna click reserve a ride. And then now I'm on the clock. I got 15 minutes to be able to go get there and it'll hold that reservation for us. So dude, let's not waste any more time. We got 14.46, let's go in. It's too slow. And with a minute 39 to spare. And then now for the pricing of Revel. If you want a half hour pass, it'll cost you $11. One hour, $20, and then the full day pass is $39. 
which I remember last summer when Revel started getting popular, they were only $20 for the full day. So 39, that's getting a bit pricey. And then safety first, kids. And then for sanitary purposes, they do also have uh, these free hair nets. So if you don't want to feel too gross while wearing one of their shared helmets, you can throw on one of their, their lunch lady hair nets. Revel is pretty pricey, especially if you do want to frequently use one. Then for convenience, parking can be a bit of a pain in the ass and you are responsible if it does get a ticket within 24 hours of using it. I wouldn't say they're very unsafe, but definitely not the safest. And I do wish they went a bit faster, but these things are still super fun. Now an electric vehicle that I left out is a Tesla. Tesla is my favorite car brand, but unfortunately, I don't own one since they're a bit pricey. But what if I could tell you, you could win a Tesla plus $20,000 in cash. If you're interested, give me 45 seconds to explain. So I am super excited to announce that Omaze is sponsoring this video to offer you the chance to win a Tesla Model S plus $20,000 in cold, hard cash. Taxes and shipping are included. And even better, Every donation benefits two great causes that help provide clean water and food security to regions in the world in need. All you have to do is go to omaze.com slash Conti and enter for your chance to win. A Tesla is my car of choice and just absolutely love what they're doing within the car industry. The car is also badass with having the X-Wing doors and being able to go a zero to 60 in 2.3 seconds. Sheesh. So this is definitely an opportunity you do not want to miss out on. So go to omaze.com slash Conti, donate $10, and you are entered for a chance to win a Tesla Model S plus $20,000 in cash. And again, the best part is every donation does help support the work of the Give Power and the 501c3 Foundation. So get there while you can and go to omaze.com slash Conti. Go there, donate, and good luck. Now back to the video. Now next up, we are going to talk about e-scooters and e-boards. E-scooters and e-boards are very convenient. It's pretty simple to be able to fold it up and carry it, and also they're relatively not too big. They're also easy to bring inside places, unlike a bike, but even this Beyond company does have it so you can lock it up as well. Definitely is a fun and efficient way to get around the city. So I just made it here to Brooklyn to meet up with Sandy. What's up guys? Sandy is a new customer to this right here, which is what I want to show you guys. This is the Beyond Scooter. And coincidentally, their office is right below my studio at 368 Broadway. And this thing I have been seeing all throughout the city. So Sandy, how have you been liking it so far? What are the pros, some cons? Okay, okay, I I'll go to pro. Immediately, the only reason why I was attracted to this in the first place is because you don't have to buy it, you rent it. So every month you only pay 50 bucks and you get full access. I thought it was gonna be like a system where like you bring it back and take it back, but no, you take it home, they give you a charger, you pay a hundred bucks for the first month, and then that's it. You can even charge your phone. How fast does that thing go? 20, 20 miles per hour. 20? Yeah, you wanna race? All right, we're gonna check the torque right now. <laughs> Beyond versus Super 73. On your mark, get set, go! Uh, oh, wow. See ya! Oh, <laughs> we got some interference! <laughs> I would've won anyway. How is it? Honestly, faster than I was expecting. Brakes are really good. Pretty comfy ride too. I like what they did with the pad too. I've never seen this type on top of a scooter like that. Feels really comfortable. You even have like the brake back here. Beyond doing a good job. Gonna give it to him. 
Let's go. I feel like if I say something bad too, they're gonna like come knock on my door. <laughs> they know where my studio is at. <laughs> I do have a boosted board and I love it, but it can get a bit dangerous. So if you're not comfortable on a skateboard, I do recommend getting one of the e-scooters. Definitely much safer. Just don't expect to look too cool on one of these things. So for price, it's actually good. I would say very fair. They're also very convenient. And the e-boards bring this number down a bit, but the scooters, I would say, are relatively safe. And overall, I would say they're above average on the fun scale. An e-bike is the most badass way to get around the city. I recently got the Super 73 S2, which is a super epic looking bike. So this is my new favorite way to get around New York City. The Super 73 S2. Personally, my favorite one on the market. It goes over 30 miles per hour and has a range of nearly 40 miles off of one charge. It is a bit pricey and just over $2,500, which is still cheaper than some of the other brands, but definitely more than the average e-bike. Besides price, locking it up outside will give you a mini heart attack. Now, the one major con about having an e-bike that is expensive and flashy like this one is that it is terrifying to lock it up. I have this Tiger titanium lock. It's about $135, but still with having this and even my bike alarm that I have for it, when there's movement, it'll go off. Still is just absolutely terrifying. There you go. Now, I don't recommend locking it up for more than 15 or 20 minutes. I think just enough time to run and grab a slice of pizza or a cup of coffee, but anything more than that is just absolutely terrifying. Forgot about that. <laughs> so wherever I go, I do bring it with me and not gonna lie, it is a huge pain in the ass trying to get this into my office building. Now, not saying they're not totally worth it, but the price of an e-bike is not cheap. And uh, they're also not so convenient, but they are definitely much safer than an e-board. And without a doubt, my favorite way to cruise around the city. It makes you feel like you're Bruce Wayne cruising through Gotham. If you do want to see more videos from Gotham, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and comment below which is your favorite means of transportation. Let's get out and get busy in the next one.